get this adjusted right here. You have a big head. I have a big head. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. Kelly's here. <laughs> that is a very rare thing. The sun's a little bright. That's not too bad. You still see Lenny back there. That's good. How's everybody doing? Tyler's here. Hey, hey Tyler. Tyler. Miss you. Hey, Larry. Burrito wrestler. Kelly made a burrito for lunch. That's lunch, right? Yes. Yeah, lunch today. I didn't see who else commented there. I think it's about keeping safe. Hope you are too, yep. Sound recording, thank you. Hello from New Jersey. Hello, Ron, Matt. Cheeseburger. We had cheeseburger yesterday for lunch, right? I think it was Sorry, yesterday. yesterday. I think it was the day before. Was it? Yeah. It was a bacon cheeseburger. Thank you very much. Vegan, of course. <laughs> uh, today it's a little cooler out. Um, I'm not sure. Much cooler. It's 57 today. Pretty much so perfect. So it was a sunny day. Never got hot in the bus. Solar was 100% by like 1030 in the morning. So that, that wasn't a concern. We didn't have to run air conditioning at all yesterday either. So... And uh, the solar kicked out some serious power today. She cooked uh, banana bread in the oven. It was on for probably an hour and 20 minutes by the time it cooked, baked for an hour, and then you had preheat and all that. Mm -hmm. And when it was right when it was finished, the batteries were still at 100%. So. Do you have all six of your batteries run in series or parallel? Um, they, I have them in both because I have it's 24 volts, so they're 12 volt batteries. Um, we have eight batteries though now. Eight, don't we? eight batteries. So they're series parallel to hook them. That makes sense. Okay. I'm just going to try to read from my phone. That's probably easier than looking up there. I can see it better with yeah. it down here. Um, how's your mom? Someone's asking. She's doing much better. Um, we don't want to say she's out of the woods yet, but she is much, much better. She's still using her inhaler quite a bit. Um, but every day has been better than the last day for like the last five days, and she's much, much better. Yeah, never needed to be hospitalized. Every, she was able to just monitor, er, you know, everything from home and uh, extreme fatigue still. But I, I think she's definitely on the upside. It's very good news. Yes. Let's see if there was any other questions that went by here. Yeah, if you're going to post any questions, do them all in caps. Uh, that makes it a lot easier. Yes. And Tyler's on here moderating for us. He's not taking any crap. Yeah. Thank you. I'm enjoying doing the cooking channel. Yeah. If you've not subscribed to Kelly's cooking channel, um, can you post a link to it? They can subscribe yeah. to it. I'll cause... post a link to my one that I just uploaded earlier. So I did I... a burrito earlier today. Tomorrow morning we'll have my banana bread on there. It is and delicious. By, by no means is it healthy at all, but it's yummy. I was kind of shocked watching her make it. <laughs> How much bad stuff went in it. I'm like, it's bananas. It can't be that bad for you. So I guess zucchini bread isn't good for you either. <laughs> no. Um, Pretty soon coming up, I'll start asking what people might want to see on there. Right now I'm going by what we have on the bus with us because we're not making special trips to the store. Uh, any tips on saving water when cooking and cleaning? I, you'll see when I'm doing a lot of my cooking stuff that I try to stick with one pot stuff. Um, I know some people don't like that, but it does make it a lot easier as far as when I, it's time to clean up and then there's not as many dishes to do. When I'm showing it, all these videos, I am using our regular plates, but typically, especially now, trying to conserve more water and stuff like that, we usually use paper and then we recycle. Um, so yeah, I just try to, to be uh, as simple as possible without skimping on you know flavor and everything. Um, but of course, the more you make and the more pots and pans you're using and stuff like that, the more you're gonna have to wash. We're doing good. We, we haven't even used 
130 gallons. We're under that. No, 120, maybe 115, less than 115 gallons because we're not out of water yet. No. 100, less than 115 gallons of water, fresh water since we've been here for over three weeks now. Right? That's how long it's been. I think so. I've lost track. If uh, it's not over, it'll be three weeks Sunday if it hasn't been. We got here on a Sunday. Yeah, so. maybe it'll be three weeks Sunday. Um, that's pretty amazing. So that was us using some rainwater for flushing the toilet and stuff yeah. like that too. Um, but yeah, no, we did, we're really good about conserving water. Did you post a link to your channel? Then? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you have not subscribed to it, do it. Someone's asking why you did not pour the first pad before doing all that work on Lenny. It's not in the budget right now. It was a lot more money than I thought it was going to be. Um, and obviously things are really financially changing since we bought the property. You know, we had real good income coming in with traveling and working on buses. And then obviously YouTube income was real good. Um, advertisers aren't paying the money right now for the YouTube stuff. So that's down. Plus I'm not traveling. So things are going to be a little bit rough for a little while. Yeah, but we, we've, we've had to kind of put a stop to, to just spending money right now because we don't know when we'll be back on the road working when money will start coming in again. So we kind of need to save that money that we have put aside for right now. I'm, but, I'm not crying. Don't no, don't think this is a oh poor me kind of thing. Everybody's bad, so you know. It's that, just that's not something that we had to have right now. We'll, so. we'll get back to work and we'll make money, and then we can do that kind of stuff. But we yeah. just can't blow that kind of money right now uh, on something like that. Yep. Okay. What kind of mileage does the 671 get? Um, we get close to 10 miles to the gallon on the highway with that and then uh three three miles to the gallon in the city it's terrible in the city yeah starts every st every stoplight cost me a dollar that's just how i look at it um they're all about the same it's a manual transmission and that's about what it gets how soon before lenny gets wheels done well before i gotta go anywhere uh, but if we're gonna be here for two months i don't need to you know it'll be a month month and a half before I finish that stuff. We just don't want to spend the money yet just because we don't know how long we're going to be sitting here. Um, but I am open to having some people come here to have me work on their buses. So we just scheduled one yesterday um, and he's going to bring his bus by and then he's going to leave it. So he's not going to work on it with me. Um, and then I'm going to let it sit for a couple days just and then I'll get to it. And so I'll have people that can bring their buses here and uh, That'll help out a little bit too with some income coming in. Um, how do you do laundry? Uh, we usually do it when we go back home. Yeah. Um, we're still good on laundry for now. We usually have a couple months worth with, with us. Um, there is a laundromat in town, but our new neighbors said that we could go do laundry at their place whenever we want. And the nice thing there is they have a separate laundry room that is closed off from the rest of the house. So we wouldn't have to worry about, um, you know, being in their space and stuff like that. But we're, we're still good for we, several more weeks at least. We packed months worth of clothes. Yes. That's just how we do it. Um, and then that way, because I've destroyed, like this, I would never do some of my bus working clothes in my neighbor's laundry ever. Never. Like we ruined a washing machine or at least broke one at a laundromat one time. He says we. <laughs> it was me. It was him. Yeah. I wasn't there when it happened. <laughs> it was disgusting. I ran to the store while he was doing laundry and yeah, it, it was It was good. really bad. Um, yeah. And then, I mean, you can wear your underwear. Do you know you can wear your underwear four days in a oh, row? Oh, God. <laughs> you got frontwards, backwards, inside out, frontwards, inside out, backwards. That's four times. You're good to go. <laughs> I would not let him get away with that. He's messing with you. <laughs> I would make him go without before I let him do that. <laughs> well, at least frontwards, backwards, okay? Or inside no, out? What, no, no. No. I would go to Walmart and buy more before I, <laughs> I'd put the mask on and my gloves and go to Walmart first. <laughs> you might need the mask anyways if I'm wearing my underwear four days in a row. <laughs> You'll be sleeping in your car. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, next question. Any interest in vegan recipe suggestions? I have great lemon lentil soup. Yeah, I'm always open for suggestions. If you want to share anything, um, I'm all for trying out something Yeah, new. you should probably do something on your community um, tab like that. Yeah, if anyone wants to share anything, uh, the only thing is right now is, you know, if it's something that 
I actually have on the bus with us already or when I make the next trip to the store if I can get what's in the recipe I would go ahead and, and try to make anything like that um, let's see what the next can you use the new septic system yet yes we can yeah, yeah it's yeah. all it's all ready to be used um, we're gonna be doing a dump out real soon on our black tank we have the um, macerator pump so we can't really get the bus to the septic tank right now but we can get it within 100 feet of the septic tank we have 100 foot of hose so we just got to move the bus down the driveway hook up the macerator pump and it'll pump all the stuff from there into the septic um, and then when we switch it over to our gray water tank run that through the macerator that'll clean it out pretty good um, and then because we don't have running water to flush everything all the way but by the, by the time that goes the gray water goes through it too it'll be pretty good um, so yes, we absolutely can use it. Yeah. Oh, people are saying yes, three weeks Sunday. They're keeping track more than us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much land do we have? Almost 25 acres. My coach has reverse osmosis system. Have you ever heard of those in your opinion? Yeah, it's, it's on my list of things to add to the bus. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm so skeptical right now um uh, of the reverse osmosis only because of the tank that we have our holding tank is aluminum and i we never want to drink the water out of that tank it came with the bus it's really nasty i don't know what kind of i don't even know if it's pure aluminum it might be aluminum and lead together i have no idea so you, we you don't run bleach through it and different stuff like i'm that. still worried do, about do, it so i want to get out, a different yeah, fresh won't. water tank when i do that i'll add a reverse osmosis and then i will be completely fine drinking from that but i'm yes. not going to drink out of that aluminum tank that's in there now it's, our, it's on our list of to do and I just saw a super yeah. chat come in from Two Feathers, the cussin jar. I'm sure you've done that a few times now. Yeah. And not too much. I can't think of when, but. I don't think I. I've, I mean, I've, other than I've joking, dropped, I dropped the f bomb a lot. I was gonna say I it's, dropped a few f bombs getting caught in some of these sticker bushes out here. Yeah, but, but never. <laughs> but nothing that's in, never like an anger at no, something. No, no. So, oh, yeah. you, you're gonna see a funny video clip. <laughs> Kelly, right before we, two minutes before we started this video, there was a cardboard box that was laying here on the ground. She went to move it and there's a lizard under it. I don't know what kind of lizard it is. It looked like a baby alligator. It, it had, yeah, it, it's, it's back had like scales on it. I, I'm usually the lizards that I'm used to seeing are real smooth. So, and it was a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, it was fatter. Uh, I mean, it looked like a, a mini By no alligator. means was it big, okay? No, it's... <laughs> it was, well. <laughs> It eight, was wiener eight, size. Eight, eight inches. <laughs> yeah, it, it was eight inches. <laughs> but anyways, I get it on video and the thing just charged right at me. Beeline 950 miles an hour straight towards me. <laughs> and he was only three feet away from me to begin with. And luckily I didn't scream too loud, but I'll, I'll show the video clip of that. Cause that little thing was, it was just there and then it wasn't. <laughs> um, are your pups still in Indiana? Yes, they're actually our daughter's dogs. Yeah, so they live with our daughter. Yes, but in our house. Uh, how much boost does a stock Detroit have? The blower doesn't really provide boost, if that's what they're asking. How much boost is it? Yeah. Doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't. It's, it's slightly above atmospheric pressure, so you, you, they don't consider that. It's, it's a scav air scavenging is what it is. Are you going to use Ridex for your septic tank? Yeah, whatever stuff needs to go in there. And that's one thing I really got to be careful about by letting people dump their RV waste tanks here is figure out what kind of chemicals they're using in their tanks because I don't want them putting something in my septic that is going to be bad for my septic. So uh, I, I'm going to have to be real clear with people about that. Um, but hopefully if they're here for less than you know a week or whatever, then they won't have to, to dump that much and stuff. Um, I saw another super chat from Jim Smith, $25 for the wheel bearing. That is awful kind of you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, that is That's much, much appreciated. Yeah, very much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, when are you guys going to put the turbo on Lenny? That would be good viewing. Yeah, I would, we don't have the parts here. Yeah, I don't have I don't have the parts. I don't have the money to just blow on that right now. Um, 
Do you have my, my plan was a year from the time we did the rebuild. I was going to get the turbo on there, which was still going to give me a few months. But I can tell you right now, we're not going to meet that deadline. Uh, if somebody donated, you know, the, some of the right parts to me, um, I we're, might be able we're to. We're still waiting on all the parts that were supposed yeah. to be donated for the Jake. Yeah, so. I don't have all the Jake break stuff yet either. Um, but at some point, we'll get that on there. But, uh, you know, not working and not having income come in. And I, I can't just, you know, that's. Uh, the bus doesn't absolutely need it. it. It'd be nice to have and fun to have, but I, it's just going to have to hold off for a little bit. Sorry about that. Is there a good replacement aftermarket voltage regulator for 4106? Um, no, other than that they changed it to a solid state. Is that the right? Or it was a solid? Whatever. They have a new version of it that's a, just a, it's a little computer board that goes in there um, that that replaces what was there. It's still made by AC Delco. Um, it's like 100, 120 bucks, usually something like that for the 12 volt, which is, he says 4100 something, right? I think he said 4106. Yeah. Sorry, I went past yeah. it. L Luke at US Coach has those in stock usually too. So I may, I may be wrong on the price, but it's not crazy expensive. How long can Lenny go without being driven? Uh, years, he'll, he'll be just fine. Um, I haven't started them up. I need to charge the batteries and stuff. Um, I haven't done that. I just saw another super chat come in there from B. Wow, that's the shortest name of a YouTube person I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> one one letter. Um, what's the most reliable two-stroke engine your favorite? Oh, the, the inline 671 by far is my favorite. Um, I just I just love the durability of the inline the inlines. Uh, you know, I like 471. Um, but I, I like you know the bigger V's are nice too, but. Just overall, the 671 is, is my very favorite one. Is getting water a priority? Yes. It, it is, yes. but it's not. Um, you know, we bought a 35 gallon tote, and our neighbors gave us free access to their uh, garden hose thing on the side of their house. We can yep. go over there and fill it up anytime. Uh, so we, we've they're, done that one time already. They're telling us that it's going to be at least several weeks before they can get out here to put our water in. Because the water and the gas company have to do it together. They're running both the gas, natural gas and the water line in the same trench. But the way they're doing things in the town here is they're having one crew work one week and then the next crew is, then no, they're two off. Two weeks. Oh, two, two weeks, weeks on, and two weeks off. The next crew's off two weeks. Yeah, whatever. So to get the two together, it's, it's going to be probably be a month before we get water yeah. here on the property. But luckily, we have great neighbors. Awesome neighbors. My God, our neighbors are so awesome. Could not ask for anybody better. Nope. No, you could write a sitcom about the world's greatest neighbors, and you could put them right in the script. Yep. Do you need anything that's hard to find in your area? Uh, supplies or food? No, not necessarily. I can't think of anything. We did go to Trader Joe's the other day. We ventured out just to get better produce and a few things that I couldn't get. Some of the locally. vegan cheeses and stuff like that. This isn't a real big vegan area. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the only vegan section here is the produce section. <laughs> Which is very small, That's so. Um, not not knocking small town life. No, it's just not, no. it's not a thing here, you know. It, someday maybe it will be a little bit more, but yeah. Um, why vegan? That's all you've got. Oh, uh, I did it first. Um, I had major kidney stones, like, like golf ball sized kidney stones with nasty kidney surgery where they cut in through my back. Uh, it was horrible and, and couldn't stand the pain. And yeah, like I, I've had kidney stones for a long time and you know, they're all, you know, like four millimeters, uh, six millimeters, you know, and you get to know what you think you can handle, what you can pass through kind of thing. And then when the doctor told me they're, they're 4.5 centimeters, metric system is not my thing, you know? So I'm like, oh shit, 4.5 piece of cake. And then he, uh, no centimeters, not millimeters, idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, that was not fun. So I have problems with animal proteins, uh, a lot of, uh, red meats and things like that. And since we've cut that out, I have not had one single kidney stone, no kidney issues. Um, it's been almost three years now. Yeah. I, you know, that's one thing people like, and I guess I get a little defensive about it when people several people will make rude comments about being a vegan because there are some vegans out there that are total and complete a-holes. Um, you know, they're, they're not nice to other people. They're, they're rude about their veganism, their, their animal rights. And, and everybody has their belief 
system. They can believe in whatever they want. I, I respect whatever you want. I respect meat eaters if that's what you want to do. Um, my own personal beliefs on some of it, I have some issues with like, you know, commercial farming and things like that where they're raising, you know, chickens all wedged together in a barn that they have no life whatsoever. And I think that's terrible, but you know, uh, I guess I don't want to get into animal rights with it. But what I'm saying is there's a lot of vegans that are very a hole -ish about their veganism or they try and push it on you. You're doing it wrong. You're killing animals. You're a murderer. Like they go into restaurants and like throw pictures of slaughtered cows in front of people while they're eating their food. That, that kind of stuff I think is really re mean and nasty. And a lot of people paint vegans as though everybody having that level of, you know, pushing their agenda or whatever. Um, that's not me. I, this is the choice that I made for me. I wasn't having a, you know, the, the kidney stones were really, really bad. Um, so we did it and I, I did it first. She did it next. I, I, she, I think she did it more to help me because she was cooking for me. Um, and then just realized that it was tasty and nice. And now, you know, she feels she has a little bit more of the animal rights thing than what I have necessarily. Like I've given our neighbor permission I, uh, to hunt on the property yeah. here. I'm not anti that. I, I would rather have him and his family, you know, uh, I don't know what the word harvest, you know, take the deer and use it and eat it. And it lived a great life. But instead of me hitting it with my bus going down the road or hurting somebody, I, I think that's different than just a commercial thing where an animal has no life whatsoever. They're just slaughtered and, and that kind of thing. So anyways, that being said, I don't push the veganism thing on anybody. Uh, if you eat meat, that is great. You go right ahead. Uh, it's delicious. Uh, when people give me crap about, you know, trying to make fake meats and stuff like that, it's because we want to still have the taste of it, but I can't have it. So I don't understand why people get so negative about it. And there's been several of them on the channel who have just, you know, they hear the word vegan and they think, oh, you're an a-hole because you're a vegan. That's not it whatsoever. That's all. That's all I got to say about that. I'm sure you've got more to say about <laughs> I that. I do, but I was trying to keep it short. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> How do you conserve and use water, especially for drinking? We keep our drinking water separate. So we have five gallon jugs. We have three of them in there right now because we knew we'd be gone longer. And I'm glad we did do the three. Um, but, uh, and as far as showers, we don't just get in and let the water run. You get yourself wet, you soap yourself up, you know, shampoo your hair, and then you rinse off. So you do, you do not want to keep that water running the entire time. So you, you'd be surprised how much water you can conserve by showering that way. I always tell Scott, I feel like it's such a waste when we go home and take the first bath or first long shower because it's more water than we use in a whole week or two with two of us together. Oh yeah, I can I can so, waste more water at home in one day than I do for a month on the road, guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you ever get a buck snort PO so we can send Kelly her favorite whiskey? <laughs> No P.O. box yet. We can't get any P.O. box. Uh, you, you have no idea how hard it is to get a P.O. box. Now that we have an address, the problem is we can't get um, a license here yet because we don't have any utility bills or anything to prove that we live here. I'm not really sure how it's going to how it's going to work to get my Tennessee stuff. Um, I'm a property owner here, but because like the some of the requirements to get your license are, you know, your utility bill and things like that. And we're off grid right now. So that's. I don't know how that's so, going to work, yeah. but I went to the post office and I'm like, Hey, I just bought property down the road. We don't have an address yet. I'd like to get a PO box. And I showed him my out of state license. And he said, that is not going to work. We, you can, you have to have a local license to get a PO box. Um, and I, and I just thought, well, what do you do if you're moving somewhere? I'm planning on moving here. I, you know, when we, we, we set up our business stuff ahead of time here to Tennessee. Um, so I filled out all this stuff for the state and was trying to get it to go to that post office box before we moved in and could not do it. So they're, Post office is rough. <laughs> um, can you hook up the septic? The septic is all ready. Yep. All ready to go. Yes. It's just 600 feet that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, now that you've had it installed for a while, how well does the mini split work? The mini split is incredible. Uh, I love it. We, the hottest day we've had has been like 85 degrees and it has cooled the entire bus with just that. So full sun, 85 degrees. Um, I think that's a good measure. You know, obviously a hundred degrees is gonna be a little bit different, but we, we could never- I think we just need to, would need to turn it on earlier. We were working outside all day and it was really hot when we went in the bus. So if we would have had it But it, it cooled on, the whole bus it off. It did, it took a little bit of time, but I think if we would have turned it on earlier to get on top of it, it I think we would have been easy. And yeah. one rooftop air, no way in the world would it cool the bus off as much as what these do. So this this thing is cooling more 
than one rooftop. And the airs are 13.5 BTU and that thing's only 12. So uh, either the rating's not right or the efficiency difference is what makes it up. But the rooftop air pulls almost twice as much power and I think it's probably half as cooling efficiency or cooling power that it puts out, even though it's rated higher. Um, which it's an older thing, but I don't ever remember it being cooler than that when it was even brand new. So uh, I think the mini split is the way to go. And I'm only getting rid of one of the rooftop airs for now. The front one's going to go. Um, and I'll keep the mini split up front where it is, and that'll totally replace that one. But that cold air has been able to be moved to the back. We just put a fan and it blows it way to the back. Um, but I am going to keep the rear roof air for right now on a super hot days. If I need to run both, then I'll do that. Uh, but the solar power and the batteries have done everything we want them to do. We've never run our batteries down. We've never been uncomfortable when we want to run the air. We run the air. Like I said, she booked, baked her banana bread today and the, and the battery stayed at hundred percent the whole entire time. And that is using a convection oven, um, which pulls, I think it's like 1800 Watts or something. And it would just, it was a sunny day. And you know, if we did it at night, that would be a different story, but, um, we've never hurt for power the batteries and the solar are amazing. And when I get the new solar added to it, um, we're really gonna, we can just run that air conditioning from sun up till nighttime. Okay, you had another. I'm sorry. Come on. I missed one. Oh, from B again. Uh, Erect steel carport with Tesla solar and Tesla battery. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, and we may even modify the, the idea that we have for building the shop right away. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe do something a little bit differently. Uh, when we were in Texas at Rob's place, he had a, uh, I guess it's a carport, mm -hmm. right? Built in one day while we were there and it wasn't a whole lot of money. It was like seven grand or something like that. It was a big one too. It was it like three wide and I don't the know. The bus would fit two, under it. Like too deep or yeah. something. It was, it, was big. it was a bus port. I don't want to call it carport because it was tall enough to fit two buses under it. Yeah. Um, so we may do something like that for now and then figure it out. Okay. Do you have to do anything special when you let Ren Lenny sit for a month without running? Other than just keep the batteries charged. He does have a little bit of a parasitic draw on his batteries. Um, I didn't disconnect them, so I can just tell my A-L-E-X-A -E thing. I don't want to say the word because then it'll set somebody's thing off. But I just tell that thing to turn on the charger and it turns on the battery charger um, and it'll top them back off. Is there a creek on the property? No. Um, what is the name of my YouTube channel? Vegan Cooking with Kelly. I put a link go at the top. You can post it again right now. Okay. Yeah, subscribe to her channel and go watch some of her videos. We'd love to get her channel monetized. That'd be cool. So she's got to get a whole bunch more views on there, but uh, it's just okay. something she just started. So yeah. I just posted um, the newest video, the link to that. Now I got to get back to find out where I was at. Oh, sorry. So if you see something come up, go ahead and answer. Um, Somebody was just asked me if I was gonna change the fuel pump on the thing to a 12 volt solenoid type. Uh, no, but Sage is sending me a German version of the fuel pump that's supposed to be much better than that like Taiwan thing that I have or whatever. And more durable and I think it's serviceable uh, and just better. Cause that other one I just replaced, uh, it's been two years, but maybe 400 miles ago, but I probably just sitting with the ethanol gas in it. And because it sat almost all year last year, I think I maybe put, I don't, I didn't put more than 50 miles on that car last year. And then, uh, uh, the year before, like I said, probably 400 miles on it. And I, I'm sure it's not good to have the gas sit in there or if it evaporates out and dries it out. I, it could, you know, it's probably, that's more likely what happened, but it, that's what happens. Okay, will the dogs be joining us? No, not unless our daughter ends up down here, which she says that she'll end up down here sooner or later, but they're hers, so I miss them though. What about you? Miss the dogs? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Um, let's see what's the next. Is your system 12 or 24 volts? Which do you think is better? For my solar, is 24 volt. Um, and I probably would have went 48 volt with it, um, but I just didn't have enough battery really to do that. And if I wanted to add uh, a couple of 12 volt batteries to get to the 48 volt, that means I'd have to add four at a time. That's, you know, if they're looking at Battleborns, you're looking at $4,000 just to add another niche to the battery so 
uh, I went with the 24 volt, so that's two batteries I can add at a time. Uh, I'd really like to add a couple more. Uh, I love the Battleborn batteries. They, uh, I don't care what anybody says, it is a whole different world than lead acid batteries. Just the, the, be able, the ability to deep just charge them is great. That, on paper, that's what looks like the really good thing. But just even the way that they, that you can use them, like on the lead acid batteries, even when they were brand new, when I would run the microwave off of that, it did not like it. The, the voltage would fall really fast on the batteries. Um, you would get a low power, the, the uh, inverter would beep for low voltage, it would still run it, but you could just, you know, the instant hit that something would hit it hard, uh, there would be a voltage drop. And I always had that. We don't have that at all with the Battleborn batteries. They are so amazing. Um, I, they're just expensive. That's the only thing that you can say that's not a good thing about them is their price, but they're so amazing. It, it, it's really like we're plugged in somewhere. Like we have power from the outlet from, you know, the power company is exactly, th that's how those batteries act. Um... How long in captivity before you pull the axles for inspection? What? How long in captivity before you pull off the axles for an inspection? Um, I don't really know what they're asking you there. I mean, I had the one axle out yesterday or two days ago. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, those. Um, you know, the rear hub I had off and I had to order parts and get some brake parts. So I'm going to pull the other two off just... Um, I've already replaced bearings on the front left uh, a few years ago. Um, I've had the, f the rear left off before, put new seals in it when I got it. Uh, when, I, when I first got it, it had leaky wheel seals on three wheels. So I pulled those three off, addressed them. One of them needed new bearings, put new bearings and races in. Uh, one of them actually, the front left hub had a, the race had spun. Um, I'm actually a little concerned about taking that back apart. It's not making any noise or giving me problems, but I'm worried um, that I may disrupt something if I take it apart because the race had spun in there before. Um, but I might have to, you know, address that too and get, get a machine shop to help me with that hub. Um, I do have a slight rear pinion seal leak. And when we had that pinion apart last year, uh, I replaced the pinion bearings. Um, and it had also, the preload was gone between them and somebody had kind of rigged it together. And there was, n there was no preload in that bearing in the pinion. When I grabbed the drive shaft, I could move it up and down probably that much. Uh, we went in and machined it ourselves, <laughs> machined is the bad word, uh, made it smaller, <laughs> the, the preload spacer in there, so that the bearings would come back together. Uh, and it seemed to have fixed the problem, but that seal is leaking. So if that seal is leaking, possibly that we you know, have quite the clearance there that we need right now. Um, probably gonna have to take that to a machine shop too, but it's it, there's no play to it. I can't wiggle it. I got under there and I moved it. And it there's no wiggle whatsoever to it. Uh, so we'll figure that out too. How big is your septic tank? 1,500 gallons. So we're set up for, it's, it's approved for five bedroom on the property here. So everybody's like, why that's overkill? Why'd you do such a big septic tank? Um, well, first of all, the five bedroom actually called for 1,250 gallons. They didn't have that in stock. And because we know we're gonna have RVs dumping here where they dump, you know, 100 gallons of sewage at a time or more into there. Um, so we're gonna have our shop, we're gonna have our house, Tyler's gonna be here, and we're gonna have the RV dump, and then for guests to have RV dump. So we wanted something where we weren't, you know, I wasn't gonna let somebody dump their thing here and have our tank overflow. Um, so we got a little bit bigger than, than what most people would have on their property, but you know, it wasn't that much more money. I think it was like $600 more for us to go up to the larger size. It was just, let's just do it and then we are Better we safe should than be sorry on that. Are you going to paint Lenny anytime soon? Yes. Yeah, our buddy Oz, that we just worked on his bus, he's gonna come. So we just ordered all the solar panels for the bus, for our bus, the upgrade. And then Oz, we basically ordered the same setup that we have on our bus right now that we're gonna put on his bus. So he's gonna help me with the painting and then I'm gonna help him in trade with that and doing the solar install for stuff on his bus. Um, so we're working on it. Uh, he just sent me some pictures of the, what he used to strip the paint off of his bus. And I'm gonna try, to, I was gonna try to do most of the prep work so he didn't have to fiddle with any of that stuff. and just could help come and show up and, and shoot it. Um, but yeah, he'll get painted. He's gonna look nice. Um, since you're adding more solar, have you considered changing to an incinerating electric toilet? No. Um, but I'm not against looking into it. It sounds expensive though. Why are you looking at me? 
whatever. Um, someone's asking again about how your mom's doing. I know you said that right in the beginning, but. She's doing much better. So she's still not done being sick, but every day has been better than the last, like for the last five days, like every day getting better. Um, she's still having some breathing issues and using her inhaler a lot and stuff like that, but she's definitely much, much, much better than she was. Um, and hopefully that will continue. Uh, what about electric service? Right now we're just gonna do the solar thing because it's working so well for us. And when I just got the new panels that are gonna go where we can add them, um, we're gonna actually more than double the solar that we currently have. And seeing as how we've lived here on the property for- Three weeks. Three now. weeks on just that solar. Uh, and now being able to have double, I'm really happy. I think we're gonna be really good with that. They, there was a little misunderstanding with the electric company about how much it was gonna cost to get the power hooked up here. Um, and then just because money's a little tight right now, we really can't afford to just do that. Um, For something we're not gonna use yet, so yeah, we're gonna we, wait. Yeah, we thought it was gonna be close to like $5,000 from what he had said, which that was, but that's just their part. And then we gotta pay somebody to dig a trench and lay pipe and, and have everything ready for them to pull their cables through there. So I didn't, I thought that was all part of their fee. That was just their fee for the cable that goes, you know, from the pole to where we're at. But I thought they were the ones that dug the trench and put the pipe in and all that was part of that price because it was like, I don't remember what it was, $9 a foot or whatever for them to do it. And they've got like 400 feet to go. And then there's a transformer that we have to buy that was- $600. I thought it was 750 for the transformer. Or, uh, and then the, the transformer pad that the transformer sits on. And then, yeah, all kinds of other fees. A lot, a lot stuff, of fees so. they didn't tell him about when he was on the phone with them. So yeah. we're gonna wait since we don't, we don't have a use for the electric yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and wait and until we build and go from there. Uh, who's the gas company? The town, right? I don't even know who it is. It is the town. Yeah. They're I mean, the ones that come out and put it in. I yeah. assume it's just the town. Everything out here is co-ops too. Like the electric company is a co I think they're a co-op, yeah, aren't they? I believe so. Yeah. Did your new solar panels come in and have you started to install them? No, I don't even know if they've shipped yet. They've been ordered. Yeah, they've been ordered and paid for, so they should yeah. be coming soon. So we got that. The solar panels all came from Santan Solar. Um, they even gave me a better deal than they did last time, so mm -hmm. we're real happy about that. Yep. Calcium or uric acid stones? You ended up with both, didn't both. you? Both, yeah. Uh, when they did the test, and there, there was something else, too. Um, In the beginning, they told him, when he first started having them... That it was uric acid. That it was uric, yeah. But they actually never did a chemical test on it. And then the last ones they did, it was both. And I forgot the word. There was another... I don't remember what it was, but there's another something that was in there too that was, they didn't expect to be there. Sorry, keep talking if you want. Um, I'm looking for the next question. Sorry if I've missed something. If, you, if I've missed something that you've posted, please go back and retype it. Um, what is the ballpark cost to add Jake's to an 8V71? You're probably gonna pay like fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars just for the Jake brakes themselves. By the time you get valve covers, buffer switch, that kind of stuff, and then if you're paying somebody to install them, I would say you're probably looking four to five thousand um, dollars. But you could probably get it done for as cheap as fifteen hundred if you're doing it yourself, and you could find all the parts at a good price. So that's kind of a loaded question, but. Um, how's that impossible whopper? I like it a lot. Um, it would be better if they had vegan cheese option and vegan mayo. Vegan mayo, yeah. It's very dry without that mayo on there. But otherwise, you would, if you're vegetarian and would still eat the cheese and mayo, I don't think you would know the difference between an Impossible Whopper and a regular one. I mean, I, I, I think it tastes the same. I think it tastes exactly the same, too. But when we were out at, with, at Scott's place in Oregon with Joe, <laughs> he bought, they went to Burger King. I said, hey, I'll get the vegan or the Impossible Whopper. So I got it. Joe throws his dog a piece of the regular hamburger and the dog whoop, ate it right up like, man, nothing. I threw him a piece of the vegan one and the dog wouldn't even touch it. So I think what I more, think tastes the same might not be the same as what a dog thinks. <laughs> but I think it might be a smell type thing because it might not smell the same to yeah. them. Yeah, and I might've had nasty something on my hands because I definitely didn't wash my hands and I was working on an engine. So maybe- <laughs> you, you didn't want to eat your grease. Maybe it smelled like- 40 weight oil too, I don't know. Or the dog just wouldn't eat things from strangers, I have no idea. Okay, um, are you able to shower every day? 
Yes. As many times a day as we want. Yeah. And the hot water heater is always, you know, we, we turn it on during the day. I don't turn it on at night, but it stays warm for a couple days. And even if you take a shower, you can just leave it off and take a shower, you know, 12 hours later and it's still hot water. It's only six gallons, but it's insulated really well. Um, otherwise, if you turn it on, um, uh, it, you know, pulls from the batteries, obviously, to, to heat. Uh, it doesn't bring them down very much, and it takes like 15 to 20 minutes before it's topped off and ready to go. How many times have you thrown a rod in a VW engine? Never. No, I see, I had one seize up on me, but. Uh, what size tank do you have in that bad boy? I'm not sure what. I have a hundred gallons of fresh water. Is that what they're asking? Yeah, what size water tank do you have in that bad boy? So I'm assuming. Yeah, it's a hundred gallons and then we have an extra 35 gallon portable tote that we have. Um, just looking for capital questions here. Have you looked into prefab steel buildings? Not, not seriously, um, but wouldn't be opposed to it. Um, yeah. But when it, we're, we're meeting with an architect right now about doing our own thing, but you know, who, who knows what's gonna. Anything's possible. Their price is attractive. If they got the right size that we want, yeah. They, they a do. A lot of them. I, I did fill out a thing online for a company and, and had access to their website to look at things. And um, they didn't have a whole lot of designs that I necessarily wanted, but the prices seemed pretty good. Is it hot where you are? Not today. Mm -mm. It's actually chilly right now in the shade too. Yeah. Uh, I had another super chat from... Flying Merkel, is that what it says? Yeah. It's hard Flying for me to see that. $10. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. You didn't post a question or anything though. I would have been happy to answer that for you, but thank you. Uh, in reference to the VW, the thing, did you visit the thing as you entered Arizona? No. But boy, they market for that thing for 500 miles. <laughs> um, I, there must have been 50 or more billboards for the thing in Arizona on the road there. We didn't go see it. I looked it up online to see what it was and no thanks. How many amps does your Mr. Cool draw? Uh, I don't remember what it is. Uh, 40 amps, maybe? That's uh, at the 24 volt. That's what it's pulling out of our 24 volt batteries, maybe. Um, maybe less. I have a video that shows it when it's on. It starts out really low. Um, maybe it's only 30. I don't remember. Uh, but it's when our solar's on and stuff like that, It's we're always still charging if it's sunny out. And if it's cloudy, it's pretty close to break even. That's why I want to be able to add those other solar panels so that when it is definitely cloudy, I'm still able to bank power while running the air conditioning on cloudy days. Right now, a full sun, no problem whatsoever. How long do the batteries last before replacement? They're warranted for 10 years. And I think we're going to get even more out of them from everything that I've read about them and learned about them. Um, but but to only time will tell, you know. So, so far, they're absolutely amazing. Any chance of biscuits and gravy? Sure. Uh, she makes vegan biscuits and gravy um, all the time for me. I actually ordered, I don't have a rolling pin with me and a mixer and a few other things. So I ordered that kind of stuff. And I do believe Amazon <coughs> says it'll be here Sunday. So depending Excuse on when, I'll probably do, if it all does come, then I'll see about doing it Monday morning. If I've got all the ingredients, I need to, to look at that. But I should be able to do that Monday. That was one of the first things I had her make for me vegan. I'm like, man, I really wanted biscuits and gravy. And so she figured out how to do that. And it's really good. Uh, how many square feet is the new house going to be? I don't know. We haven't even really talked about the house. It was going to be the shop first and then the house in the future. Uh, I'm, I'm all for a tiny home, a uh, container home, a couple containers, two, maybe three containers to do it. I, I don't know that she's quite sold on that yet, but. It's going to be smaller than the house we have now. Oh, for sure. We don't need anything big. I mean, mm -hmm. we live in that, right? right there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. yeah. There you go. 
Grant, Grant Plank, Plank, another super chat. Uh, have been enjoying your videos for a while now. We're all struggling with this. You folks take care, Ont Ontario, Canada. Thank, Thank you, you Grant. Grant. That is super nice. Yes. Um, yeah, times are, times are tough for everybody. I know. Do you think Lenny might have more or less trouble making it up the hill now that it's gravel? It's smoother. Uh, I, th I think it's going to be easier now that it's... But traction might not quite be yeah, there. We were driving the neighbor's truck up the driveway last weekend, and in two-wheel drive, the tires were spinning a little bit in the loose gravel. Yeah, but it, that, it's going it to get packed that down that a little bit more. That got about three-quarters of the way up before that started happening, so... Um, the thing does it really well. Um, you know, I had full water tank, full sewage tank, all that kind of stuff the last time we came up the hill. So, I mean, I could free up 1,500 to 1,000, uh, 1,500 to 2,000 pounds probably uh, with some of that stuff where they don't necessarily need to come up the hill. Uh, but he, he'll make it. Last, last, last time when we came up, I had more, more of a head start because I was coming down the driveway and it didn't even face it. It was no issue whatsoever. He just did it. I don't, did we, we didn't film it, did we? No. When we came home. He no. did it no problem whatsoever. And I don't, was I in second gear or first gear? I think I stayed in first gear. I, I don't remember. But like, you just, you just count, came down the drive and kept going just, though. Just got on it on the driveway and he when came. When we did video it, you just backed up from down there and you were, you didn't have like a head start at no. all. So that's why it was a little bit struggling. Yeah, but the last time he did it, it, he didn't yeah. even, it didn't even make him sweat. I mean, he just no. right up it, no problem whatsoever. So having that little bit of running start made a big, big difference. Okay. Are you seeing a lot of deer on your property? Any more owl turkey fights? We haven't seen any deer yet. No deer? Surprisingly. No, haven't heard the owl and turkey fighting. The we've heard, we've the heard the owl. The neighbors had told us that the deer come up in their back field. So they, that's maybe where they're hanging out at nighttime. Um, I don't know. We haven't seen any. The owl turkey fight was absolutely hilarious. That... I think Scott scared <laughs> the owl away. I don't so, know. Yeah. I still heard him. He just hasn't come as close. You and your flashlight out there trying to find him. You scared him away. <laughs> Wanted to find him. We did senior pictures one time with a girl who brought her owl as a as a prop for her pictures. And it was just the most amazing. Like if she sat it down and wasn't holding it, it would chirp like a car alarm. And like anytime we would take a picture, the flash from the studio lights, its its pupils would dilate. And you know, every time it was it was just the most beautiful thing ever. But it was a her her owl was a Eurasian eagle. Or no, a Eurasian Yeah. Was it eagle owl? Yeah, I, I believe that's what Some, it was. Something. It sounds like it. Whatever it was. It was one of the largest species of owls. Uh, her her mom's boyfriend was named like, oh, it was like Crocodile Dundee, but that wasn't what it was. His uh, Alligator Allen or something like that. And he had a, like a petting zoo or rare exotic animals that he would rescue kind of thing. I think it was Alligator Allen. I really think that's what his name was. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, uh, we used to have kids bring all kinds of crazy animals in for, for pictures. The owl was the, oh, and I did this picture with the girl where I had her do like huge eyes with the owl next to her with its big eyes. It was didn't they want to bring like a wallaby in or they something? They did. They were going to bring a wallaby in, but they didn't. Yeah, I forgot it about gonna that. It was going to be too hard to get it there. Um, would you guys build your new house with a flat pack kit? I don't know what that is, but I assume that's like a building on a truck where you just, everything's, the walls are pre-assembled and that, is that what they're... I have no idea. I don't know what that is, but that's not. We really haven't thought much about the house yet. We're more worried about getting a shop. So first. I built our first house. I, you know, I subbed out the excavating and the concrete work. I hired one carpenter to help me frame it uh, so that me and one other guy framed the, and stick built the entire thing. Um, and then I did all, you know, all the electrical plumbing. Uh, I subbed out the drywall. Uh, I did all the roofing. I, almost everything on the house uh, all by myself for the most part other than the framing and then the few things that we subbed out um, so i mean i have the skills to do it i didn't necessarily want to uh to do that again um, but if we did container homes and stuff like that I, I think i would enjoy doing that and doing the finishing work and stuff like that what are your thoughts regarding one michelle's modified nissan leaf battery setup oh Hang on a second. I just see somebody that looks like a snake behind you. They gotta be joking, right? They've gotta be joking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't hear it. I don't see it. Don't scare him. If there's a snake behind me. I'm the one that's gotta clean his clothes. Don't. Do me to look for you, baby? Now I'm looking in the in the Did you want me to look for you? Do I no. need to? No, no sudden movements. Do I need to go look and get rid of it for you if it is? No. Okay. <laughs> I offered, you heard me. 
Okay, back to <laughs> Nissan Leaf battery. What are your thoughts? <laughs> uh i that's great uh i am not an electrician i never claimed to be uh it's not my thing tyler's very good at stuff like that uh, when i look at how juan built his batteries they're amazing uh would i necessarily trust myself to build that battery pack and sleep over it every night knowing how dangerous they are i i would not um i sleep very comfortably at night knowing that battleborn has a professional product that's underneath of me um and i don't have to worry about that so but yeah they're great if somebody did it for me i would use one um, but I myself, uh, and, and Battleborn, uh, I just, I'm happy with them, but yeah, more, if you, that's something you want to do, that's great. I think it's getting harder and harder to find those batteries. You know, Juan did that at a time when he was like a, a pioneer of that. Nobody was really doing that. Um, uh, Oz is probably going to do that for his, and he's got the ability to buy cars at auction and stuff like that. So if he can buy a, a wrecked one or something, then he can get a good deal on the batteries. That would be good. Are you going to put an industrial coating on your concrete work pads? Yes. Yes. Uh, how many? Isn't this great having Kelly here with us on the live? That never ever happens. Well, it depends when I go back to see all of them that Tyler is deleting. Or, oh. oh, so man. That's going to depend on a lot. How many amps does your Mr. Cool draw? Does that, was that was asked? Yeah, I, I, I have videos of it running. I, I don't I remember don't for sure. I want to say it's like 35 or something. It's, I don't think it's more than 40 for sure. And that, that's from the 24 volt bank. Um, it's way less than the rooftop air. Way, way less. Uh, where did you get your solar panels? Santan Solar, S-A-N-T-A-N -A -A Solar out of Gilbert, Arizona. They sell used commercial grade panels. So they're used, but they still have like 20 years left on the warranty on them. They test them all. Um, I don't see any reason why to not buy used ones from them. So my brand are Sun Power, which is a super high quality brand. Um, they're 327 watts and we've actually had them out here producing more than that. So, so I'm producing more than what their rating is on them. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, do you miss regular food? Love what you two do. Stay, stay safe from Burn, Indiana. From where? Is that Burn? Is that how you say it? I don't even know where that's at. Yeah, I never heard of that. Yeah, cool. Um, I mean, prime rib was like my, my thing. Uh, I definitely miss that. I'll figure out how to make it for you. I don't think that'll ever be the same, but I'll try it and I'll let you know if it's the same. <laughs> I definitely miss prime rib. Um, and and I, I, I'm I not saying that I will never, ever have another prime rib in my life, because I probably will. Um, but it, it'll be a very rare thing. No. I haven't had it in almost three years, so. I miss scallops, but I've learned how to make those. So she does I'm make good. amazing vegan scallops. You would have no idea that they're not really a scallop. She made shrimp like that, too, that was crazy good, too. I couldn't believe it. Did you consider a well for your water? No, because city water's here and it's only gonna be, that, that's only like $1,200 or something or $1,500 maybe to hook up city water and never have to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you gotta pay a water bill every month. <laughs> um, how long have we been together? A long time. You hear how he says that? A long time. Like it's horrible. <laughs> no, a long time. <laughs> Way too long. <laughs> uh, together, I'm going to say we've been together 27 and a half years, maybe. Yeah. We've been married 26. You passed. A, a long time. <laughs> a long time. No, it hasn't been that long. It, it seems like, like five years, really. Uh, have you thought of hot water on demand? They're really efficient. That's what we have at home. Yep, um, but the little electric water heater that we have is great. So we have six gallon in there. At one time I thought, you know what? I don't wanna heat six gallons at a time. Let's put a two gallon hot electric hot water heater in there. And so we put a two gallon in there. 
that was miserable. The, the very second you turned on the shower, it was instantly diluting the temperature of the water coming out. And you spent more time adjusting the temperature in the shower and wasting water or freezing or burning yourself before you were done with your shower. It was just terrible. Do you see anything come up? Um, I'm watching for a snake in the background. <laughs> I don't know if that lizard thing is still over here. Uh, yeah, he's still, he's, no. Don't worry about him. Do I need to get that for you too? No, 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 no. He's not going to bite me. If you are not mechanical, would you not recommend buying a vintage bus? Mm. Most people aren't. It helps. It definitely helps. Uh, it's not, you're never going to buy, well, here's the thing. You go out and buy a brand new modern RV and that thing's going to be in the shop just as much as your vintage bus. Um, although it'll be easier to find a shop that'll work on it. Um, I actually, your, your, a modern RV might be in the shop more than a vintage bus. And cost a lot more. Yeah. You, but there's certain rules and things you got to follow. Uh, if you're gonna have it like you got to drive it a certain way you got to treat it a certain way You can't just get in it and just treat it like a car um, But the things that can be done on it I think you should be somewhat Mechanically inclined unless you have a big bank account and then it doesn't matter what you have because you can find somebody who can do it But if you're willing to learn you can yeah but if they know their limitations, yeah. I'm just saying, it, you know, if you think it's not going to be expensive, it, it, it's, it is, so. Uh, have you heard of a 4104 with a hydro shift transmission? No. It's cold in the shade. I'm, yeah, it I'm is. getting, yep. My cold weather, cold indi weather indicators, my cold are, weather indicators are out and <laughs> pointing. <laughs> How about yours? Sorry. Mine are fine. <laughs> um, have you thought about an underground zombie bunker to start or a decent sized shed for the generator and overflow storage? Yes. Uh, hadn't called it a zombie bunker, but, um, Sorry, birds. Yeah, those are yellow birds. I don't know what they are. Oh, yeah, a whole flock of yellow birds with dark wings. That was very interesting. Um, I would like to have a part of the container house be built down into the hillside. I think that would be really cool too. Like walk out deck from one of the hills here. That'd be cool. Have you received your valve cover from the person in Canada? Never showed up. Mm -mm. So I don't know what happened if the post office lost it. Don't know. Um, now that Sage has new springs, is Lenny getting his soon? I want to wait and see how that whole thing works out and what the final cost was and all that. And if it is what it was supposed to be and they're good, then yeah, he's going to get them. And we'll get them shipped down here and get them put on. He needs it badly. That's his number one thing that he needs done. Are you going to make it another visit to Phil up here in Minnesota? It was on the schedule to be the end of spring, beginning of summer, but that is not going to happen right now. I can tell you that. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, and you got to remember what their business is, is their commuter bus line. How many people are riding commuter buses right now? How has their business been affected by it? And are they going to have a budget to, to do that? I know, oh man, poor Lance. Um, I don't know if he wants me to I don't know the name of the company, but I think, I think he's got a raw deal, so I'll mention it. So you start a bus company, and the first thing you have to have is insurance. So he gets his commercial insurance policy, which is a ridiculous number, okay? I, I don't know what it is, so I'm, I'm going to throw this number out there. You, let's say it's $20,000 for six months, um, and I don't think that's an outrageous number. It's something around that number. Um, 
which that's fine. That insurance is a lot of money. It's a new startup company. They're riding, you know, using old vintage buses or whatever. So now the government says, hey, you cannot operate your buses right now. He's a party buses. Nobody can get together. They can't go to parties. They can't, you know, get together and just go out around town. Nothing. So everything is just shut down. Nashville, all the bars are closed. That was this thing, you know, taking people to the bars or to the brewer or the Jack Daniels distillery. What am I? You're getting louder and louder. <laughs> I'm mad for Lance. I feel, oh. Yeah, yeah. So insurance companies, we all get very mad at them, right? Okay. So Lance. Lance calls his insurance company and says, can we just cancel our insurance right now because we can't operate? Nope, can't do it. Sorry, can't do it. Can't shut it down, can't cancel it, can't like modify the policy. It's it's paid for ahead of time, a year in advance. Um, they won't let him, he can't run. He, there's no insurance liability or uh, the insurance company's not gonna be He's not gonna have a claim right now because the buses aren't, other than like if it was for, if it got damaged in a storm or something like that, and that could be a separate kind of a policy, but he's paying insurance, like the buses are out there on the road every single day right now, and they're not, and that insurance company will not give him money back, won't pause the, the policy, won't do absolutely anything for him, and I think that absolutely freaking sucks. I think yep. that is the most bu bullshit thing I've ever heard of in my life. And if, if I knew the name of the insurance company, I would be telling you right now what the name of it is. Um, and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Hopefully he can find a different company when that is up that he can switch to Oh, it's a else. ton of money though. It's just that he's just yeah, literally threw in a garbage can and can't get back. Um, but ho hopefully there's somewhere somebody else out there. He could there be wiping his ass with $100 bills right now and losing less money than he is with the insurance company. <laughs> Oh, poor Lance. Sorry, Lance. We love you, Lance. Um, do you, do you ever consider wind power at the property? Yes, we have. I've never. Everything that I've researched on wind power on my own does not look like it's what it's supposed to be. At least, you know, like all of the things that I look on, like on Amazon, at like you know, small wind turbines and stuff like that, they have horrible reviews. Uh, getting way less money or. <laughs> way less uh, watts than they're what they're supposed to. And then some of them that I've seen on YouTube, YouTube videos, I'm not, I'm a little skeptical of what their results are with them. Plus the noise that they make is a little bit weird. She's very sensitive to high pitched weird noises and the, the noise that if you've gone to, that wasn't an exact thing, but it's pretty close to that. Um, I, I really want to do it, but yes. I don't think I'm gonna do it. We'll just have to put it not close to where I'm at. But I love wind power. And yeah, it's pretty windy up here a lot, so. Um, where is Tyler? He's back home in Indy. Yeah, he's in Indianapolis. Okay, Brian Witt has said, when you do build, I will volunteer my services to help. Thank oh, you. Thank you, Brian, yeah. Uh, whenever we get around to that, I'll be posting and, and remind me of that because I won't have any way of keeping track of this. Um, but yeah, I'll, We'll definitely let some people come out here and give us a hand and we appreciate the willingness to do that too. Could you take videos using a drone of your property? Unfortunately, Scott just sold his drone not that long ago because he wasn't using it. Yeah. Right before we bought the property. Dave, come out here with your drone. Dave Story, he's been here. here. He is a master drone pilot uh, and a real yeah. pilot. I tried Scott, to go and bring his helicopter out <laughs> our here. Our son says he's on his porch day drinking. Oh. Have one for me, babe. <laughs> Maybe two. People are misbehaving. Please don't be bad. Tyler, kick them out. Don't just put them in time out if they're misbehaving. Yes. Uh, what's for Easter dinner? I think I'm going to make green beans and ham. It's good stuff. What do you think? Um... If you haven't subscribed to Kelly's YouTube channel, please do and watch some of her cooking videos. Share it with your family and friends. That would be great because she makes amazing food. And even though it's all vegan that's on there, uh, pretty much so everything you can make regular just by substituting whatever vegan meat or whatever she's using, you could put regular meat in there and it would still be absolutely delicious and you would love it. Uh, I'm post another link to your thing. I will before we get off here. Okay. Um, how many different wildlife have you seen? Uh, today, <laughs> I've seen a whole lot of different birds. Uh, we saw the lizard today. Um, other days, we've seen snakes and uh, armadillo, armadillo, <laughs> turkeys. Haven't seen the owl, but we hear it very loudly many, many times. 
a um, whole bunch of snakes the other day. We, when we scooped up with the blade, there was a bunch of them living in the rock. Um, squirrel? Well, I think it's the same squirrel I've seen multiple times. Either that or we've got a couple of gangly looking squirrels on the property because it does I, not... I would have thought that they would have been everywhere, but they're not. Yeah, uh, we've seen a rat, uh, but that was in our bus, and uh, mice. <laughs> We've not seen any more signs <laughs> since that night that we caught the rat. That was the last, you know, since I sealed up that hole, there's been no signs of mice in the bus. We haven't caught any mice. Uh, something, uh, some big animal did lick all the peanut butter off of my mouse trap that I have outside. I have that big, you know, thing with the pop cans on it with the bucket. And you could tell that it was licked around instead of something that actually got on it and ate it. So it wasn't a mouse. Uh, so something big enough to do that ate it off of the, the peanut butter off of the trap. Tell everybody what you said when you saw the rat up there. No, what did I say? I don't know. So it's like, mm, my life effing sucks right now. <laughs> but he sit, dropped the F-bomb. <laughs> As he's trying to get a rat out of our bus. Well, yeah, because it wasn't dead and I didn't know what to do. I'm like, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I was still trying to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's, it's at least a little dazed right now. I can, I can try to get it. Um, man. That was not cool. I love you, babe. Oh, yeah. Love you're, my, you too. you're my hero. Yes. I'll get the snakes away from you. You get the rats. Yes. <laughs> uh, when will Tyler pick up his silver side since the virus is slowing up all activities? Yeah, we we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be a little we have while. To get, once we get back up and going and make our way that way again. Oh, we've seen bats. We've seen bats out here. I forgot about bats. Yes, we saw our first three bats the other night. Turkey buzzards. Like lots of turkey buzzards too. Is someone oh. saying asking me to do a scallop and shrimp video? Um, I have to see if I can get a hold of my daughter. I've got all those recipes at home for that, and that's a bunch of specialty stuff I need to make that. So I'll have to see if I can even get that stuff right now on Amazon. Um, you can have her send it if you've got it at the house, too. I do have stuff at the house. So I'll have to see if, if I've got what I need for that or if I can get it. Some of the stuff that I've tried to order is saying it's three to four weeks out because it's not essential. So we'll see. At some point I will. I don't know how soon I can do that, though. Did you see this one earlier? Uh, no, I did not see that. Did I miss somebody's super chat? Oh my God, I'm terrible. I don't remember you mentioning I that. I didn't, I don't even see it on my screen right now. How far away was that? I don't know. Way back, there you go. Jet Pro 66, I am so sorry that I did not see your super chat. Um, that was for the pad fund, that is awesome. Thank I, you very it, much, yeah. um, it's greatly appreciated. You have to pay attention what's coming up here. I, I'm sorry that I'm I didn't so far pay attention to it. I was, questions. I'm, maybe that was when I was ranting about Lance's insurance or something. I don't know. Sorry I blacked out that. for a minute and went into an insurance thing. I'm going to guess that's when it was, but maybe not. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, any plans on getting married? We did that 26 years ago. Yeah, we're still married. <laughs> so I'm not planning on getting married. I don't know. Okay, so we started, he says, let's watch this movie. It's, it's going to be really cute. And, and I'm like, why do you want to watch this movie? Hey, we don't need to go. Let's not yes, even go there. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it wasn't going to be cute. <laughs> and I'm like, why do you want to watch this? He's like, well, his wife died and now he's falling in love with somebody else. You know, it's real inspiration. And I'm like, well, gee, thanks. Are you trying to off me or something? It just came out wrong. I was like, it looked like a sweet little movie. It came up on the suggested thing on Netflix or whatever. And I was like, well, at least this won't be sad and depressing. It's got a happy ending kind of thing. Let's watch this movie. But it's just, that's what it's I was. totally not how he said it. Yeah, it was not like he gets rid so of his like wife and gets a new one. Let's watch it. Damn it. <laughs> didn't come out right oh boy i need to record you more often the shit you, you say you <laughs> the stupid it's the way you interpret the shit that i say that's the problem <laughs> <laughs> uh why doesn't kelly drive the bus it needs power steering she said she will when it gets power steering 
I wouldn't have a problem going down the road and all that, but if we had to do a lot of stopping and starting where I had to turn and stuff, I would have issues trying to turn. If you had a chance to redesign the inside of Lenny, what would you change? I gotta do this video that I wanna do. I, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Excuse me. I have a whole list of things, improvements that I wanna do to the bus. And a few of the things are inside the bus, but there's nothing that's like gotta be done right now. Um, other than I want her to have, she wants a butcher black countertop instead of the cheap generic, you know, the, the countertop that we have in the kitchen. She does all that cooking and stuff literally on four feet of countertop space. I can at least make it a nice four feet. It's less, like less almost, than almost feet. two feet of it. I have where I do dishes. And yeah. Um, I, I would like her to have something that she really likes there. So that it's cheap countertop that like you do it yourself at Lowe's that's in there right now. Uh, the pre-done, you know, you buy it, it's already there and you cut it yourself and that, that's what's in there now. So she wants a nice butcher block countertop in there. And I'd love to be able to put that in there for her for that. There's some more storage stuff that I'd like to have in, on the inside. Um, a little bit more insulating on a few things that I would like to do. A couple of power outlets I'd like to maybe moved or mounted in different spots. Just little tiny things. There's nothing major inside. But the way there. it's set up, we would leave it, I think. Oh, yeah. I, I mean... I would like that the heat up front out of there. It takes up a lot of room, but I think yeah, we'll be getting rid of the propane furnace because um, that is that's that's you know probably ten cubic feet of wasted space for that thing where I could just put a little diesel heater in there. Or now I don't even think I need that. We can just probably get by with the mini split for the heat up front and then the little diesel heater in the back. That's probably honestly that's probably the way we're gonna go. Someone wants to know how we met. Do you want to tell him? No. <laughs> I want to see what you have to say. I'm testing your memory. Um, way back in 1991. Two. two. Nine, nine, <laughs> late 91, early 92. <laughs> I didn't know what year it was. Um, I decided to go to a party. I was in college and I had a, my friend was in high school. And I decided to go to a party on a, I'm going to say Friday night. It might have been a Saturday night. It was definitely a weekend. It was a Friday night. It was my first week at a new school. My parents got divorced and moved. So she had daddy issues. <laughs> and this is what I ended up with. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> you know, my mom's probably watching this. <laughs> she is probably watching she, she knows. She knows you had daddy issues. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to hear what else comes out of your mouth. That's all I'm saying. That's a, oh. She was out of my league. <laughs> okay. Next question. I'm. She was in high school. I was in college. So yeah, and I wasn't really smart, so I didn't graduate high school early. <laughs> <laughs> okay well it's not like you were in college for a long time no was i was 17 you were were you 20 yet or were you still 19 I was so 19. it's not like it's not like you're an old man then uh do you folks have any plans to travel up here to canada someday no Some well, I wouldn't say no. Not, not to work on buses. Not to work on buses because there's issues with the visa and that kind of stuff to be working in another country and stuff like that. So, um, I'm just now getting to where everyone's talking about. I don't even know that I knew that you had just literally just went. That was like. That was my first week there. I had no idea. I did not know that. Yeah. I didn't know. I started. I, I knew you were new there, but I did not realize it was that. Quick. That Monday was my first day. Wow. And I met you on that Friday. Wow. Uh, everyone's going on and on about Lance and his insurance, and they want to know who. I don't, if I believe me, if I knew the name of the company, even if he didn't want me to tell you, I would tell you because I think that is bullshit. Um, yeah, they should at least be able to pause this policy because they are literally under no risk right now but he's paid for as if he was driving it every single day that that's what and, and it's such a huge expense like, like it might even be more than what i just said 
but it's such a big number like that that you can't even wrap your head around it when there's zero income even able to come in because everything's shut down. I, I think it's I think it's criminal what they're doing by charging him. Um, how are you coping being in isolation together? It's no different for yeah. what we're usually <laughs> we're out, yeah usually in the bus together anyways. Um, I could sleep That's, in a little okay. bit more. I gotta say one thing here. If you're not getting along with your spouse now, <laughs> do not get a bus and live with them in the bus because people ask before how we get along and you know, what, um, what's different about living on the bus together and stuff like that. Well, we've always worked together. Um, so I think the big thing is if you can't get along now, you're not gonna get along living on a Cooped bus. Cooped up in a bus, no yeah. way. Yeah, if no. you can't get along in a house or where you work different places half the day, you're not gonna get along. Yeah. Bus. Um, we're enjoying it here on the property. We're enjoying the shit out of it, though. Yeah, I Total just wish our kids were here with us. Sometimes. I wish they could visit. Sometimes. <laughs> you know, Tyler is on here. Oh, he's moderating. <laughs> he knows. He don't want to live here all time right now in the bus with us. Uh, I didn't say they had to be in the bus with us. Oh, okay. Sorry. I miss my babies. Um, how long does it take to get to a store for essentials? Um, if we need a lot of stuff, there is a grocery store. There's two little grocery stores right right in town here where you can the pick first up a few things. Not more than two miles away though. It's got to be less no. than, less than uh, maybe a mile and a half. And the other one's just another mile down the road. So if you only need a few things, they're great to run in for. But like Scott said earlier, like produce and stuff, there's not much in there. And if you want to go to a Dollar General, there's one of those about every mile, any direction that you go. <laughs> douchebag. Is he talking to me? It's like called you a douchebag. <laughs> I don't blame him. It's alright. Um, but if we need to like really stock up, it's probably about a half hour. Yeah. Half to hour. go to a Walmart or something or yeah. like an Aldi or, yeah. yeah. So good, a half hour. Um, do you think Lenny can go another 1 million miles with good care? Yes. He might need some work done on his uh, structure around the engine, um, but he won't be, he, he may need that. His, his rear end is a little saggy, so. Um, where is Sage's bus now? It's at Chris's Carter's Garage. Um, so you could keep an eye on his channel to see it. And I think they're gonna be putting the leaf springs on it real soon because they just came in. And then, uh, yeah, so it's, it's over at Chris's shop. Uh, is Tennessee on lockdown? Yes. yes. Yeah, not all non-essential travel, all balls, bars and restaurants, balls, bars and restaurants are closed. Uh, restaurants can do carry out, kind of just like probably what everywhere else does. Um, I, I don't know that they're crazy cracking down on stuff but most people, at least in this area, seem to be now, uh, you know, when we went to Trader Joe's, everybody had masks on, everybody was wearing gloves, um, except for like one person, I think, didn't have a mask on when we were in the store, but yeah. yeah. They did really good at Trader Joe's. Yeah, they limited the number of people that were in the store at a time. They had marks on the ground outside more than six feet apart, so you couldn't get into somebody else's personal space kind of thing, so. I mean, and and it, it was real easy to go through the store. You weren't bumping anybody. Waiting in anybody, line when waiting. it was time to check out, you just checked out and, and you just went. walked right up and went out. And they had so, it going on. Yep. They had like limit on the toilet paper and stuff like that where people couldn't just hoard it and grab it all. Selfish, yep. that kind of thing. Um, If you see anything pop up, go ahead and get it. I'm just trying to find the next question. I don't. We should probably think about finishing yes. here real soon. I was just trying to catch up here. We've been on forever. And I need to make dinner. Yes. Does Lenny like snow and cold weather? No. No, he does not even like Kelly it. does not like it. No. He, no, he does not. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he don't want to start in cold weather, which none of them really do. I can run the block warmer, but I hate to do that. Um, I try to keep him out of cold weather. Have you seen Bigfoot? Did you see our owl video? Because he was in that owl video, I'm telling you. 
which was actually Kelly. I actually dressed in a Yeti costume, but you couldn't tell. When I used that thermal camera, she was facing one way doing that typical like Bigfoot pose. And then when I panned back across it, she was flipped around 180 degrees doing the same pose the other way. And I don't know that anybody even noticed that she changed her pose from one pan to the, to the next. Um, but yeah, that, that was, that was our, our Bigfoot. <laughs> Okay, I think I've pretty much caught up. So anybody that had capital letters on everything. So if you want to go ahead and finish up. Post a link to your channel. Um, she's going to post a link. If you haven't subscribed to her cooking channel, please do. Or have your, you know, forward it to some of your family you. members or your friends yeah. or something. Did it lose your copy thing? Yes, it did. Can somebody paste the link to her channel for us in there real quick? We would appreciate that. Or you could go try to find it again. Um, maybe somebody else already has it. If you could do that, it'd be great. Uh, but yeah, subscribe to her channel. Click the bell thing. Watch some of her videos. We'd like to get her channel monetized. Um, that, that would be nice for her to be able to start bringing in a little bit of money from her videos on there too. But she's got a long way to go to do that. we got to get 1,000 subscribers and uh, 240,000 minutes viewed or something like that. So, Not even close. But thank you for everyone that has subscribed. Yep. I appreciate it. And I will take... Um, different suggestions to see if the one I already know how to make it or if I can figure out how to veganize something for you. And then uh, I will post a video of that little lizard that scared me earlier. <laughs> so yeah, th thank you so much. And th yeah, thanks for the super chats. That was great. And uh, just thanks for subscribing and watching and being nice on the, on the video feed today. Um, everybody stay safe and have a good day. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye-bye. Oh, did somebody post a link to it? We posted it at the beginning. You can put it in the description. You can't post it just real quick. It does. Go go back to your. Oops. She'll post it real quick, and then we'll then we'll go. Unless somebody else posted it already, I don't think they did. Let's see if I can get back to it here. We'll post it in the description. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. I'll put it yeah, in the description. We'll do that. Thank you so much.